What's going on y'all? This is Rashad from RashadBeats.com. Welcome back to another Beat Nerd 101 tutorial. And today, we're going to be doing a quick video on how to sustain your 808 or bass line and also another way to stop it from bleeding. So, as you can see, I already have a pre-made beat for this video and we're going to only be focusing on our sub 3 right here, which is our 808 and our bass line pattern. So, with that being said, we can go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to play the beat first. Let me make sure before I play the beat, I'm going to switch my options. Put it on primary real quick just so you guys can hear it. And let's hear how it sounds. Okay. So as you can hear on the bass line, the bass line is smushed and it's bleeding. So whenever it bleeds and it sounds as if it's colliding with itself, that just means that it needs to be controlled. If you seen my last video on how to stop your 808s from bleeding, then you already seen the first way to do it. But in this video, I'm going to show you guys another way to do it and also another way to control and sustain your subline. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, I'm going to look at my sub three right here at the bottom and I'm going to left click it and we are in our channel settings. So what I want to do or what you want to do. <laughs> so what you want to do is go to your instrument properties, click on that and then look below and you'll see your time envelope. Now your time envelope is basically a modifier for how long you want your your sample to uh to hold and sustain so what we're going to do with this is we're going to box this out and i'm going to show you how to do that so the first thing you're going to want to do is click the attack knob and push that all the way to the left and then click on your hold your hold knob and you push that to the right further basically we're making a big square so we're going to push that out just a little bit. You can push it out as long as you want, but I prefer halfway around, at least where it says, like around the middle between the tens and the envelope uh, letter lettering. And I usually keep it right there. And then go to your decay time knob, hold it, bring that all the way down. Uh, we don't have to touch our sustain, but for your release, same thing. Bring your release all the way down. And then now we can hear, let's hear what our bass sounds like now. Cool. So now as you can tell, there's no more bleeding. There's no more clashing of 808s. Um, there's, the bass is not clashing no more. It sounds perfectly clean. And basically, like I said before, in the instrument properties, you're just making a big square. All the square is doing is allowing you to control whichever sample or whichever bass you have. So pay attention to, to the grid real quick and I'm gonna show you how it works. So for each cut right here, each cut represents a new starting point for the 808 to begin without it bleeding. See how that works? So each cut of the note is going to reset the bass and it won't it won't bleed and it won't sound smushed that's basically another way to stop your 808 and also sustain your 808 and your subline whatever baseline you're using uh thank you guys for tuning in to another beat nerd 101 tutorial please be on the lookout for more and if you like this video and had this and, and if you like this video and found this video very helpful please subscribe and um leave a comment below for anything else that you guys want me to uh, teach you and I'll get back to you guys shortly. Be on the lookout for more tutorials. Beat Nerd 101, out. Peace.